Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Western Electric 202 desk rotary telephone. And this is Jill's telephone from Missouri. And so basically uh, there's two phones in here that she has and one of them is a pay phone and then this telephone. But we're going to go ahead and start on this telephone first. And this is the initial checkout. Basically it came in and we have a cord that uh, someone has tried to splice onto the original line cord. We're going to go ahead and throw that away. Uh, it's not much good. And so what we're going to try to do here is since it has its original line cord, we're going to go ahead and try to save this cord and put a modular port adapter uh, for a line cord on this. If that does not work out and we run into any problems, we'll just go ahead and replace this line cord. Um, another issue that we have here with this telephone, and I do have it apart, but I want to pull it up. Here was some tape they had the line cord we're going to throw that away we want to go into the rotary and we want to work on that we want to clean it oil it adjust it and get that spinning a little more freely now it has a really cool uh, center dial card and I'm going to take a picture of that for you do a still picture that's a really cool card And then we're just basically going to go through this telephone. Here's the handset, which is in very good condition. And then we have this telephone apart. So I'll give you a look at the uh, dial center card. And then I want to show you the inside, if you've never seen the inside of one of these 202s. It's a very nice telephone. Here's the bottom plate to it. So it's in very good condition basically for the age of this telephone. And we're going to try to get some uh, video of this telephone as we move along in the repair of it and uh, we'll get some more video. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start working on this telephone and go into the rotary, make sure that's good. We want to check the connections for the transmit, the receive, check the handset cord. So we're going to basically just go through a little bit of everything on the telephone and then work on the line cord, see if we can't get a modular port adapter on the original line cord. And if that doesn't work out, like I said earlier, we'll uh, change the line cord and uh, make sure that we get something that uh, she can plug into any telephone jack and uh, use this telephone. So we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with the repair of this telephone. So we're going to kind of run through a little bit about what went on. Uh, we went through the rotary, got that straightened out, uh, oiled, cleaned, and adjusted it. And if you hear the rotary, if you hear that clicking, that's the style rotary dial that it is. So anyway, now the uh, rotary is racking off like it's supposed to. and that's been taken care of. We went through the handset, transmitter and receiver made sure that that was all working properly and cleaned. We also went through the handset cord made sure that that was proper and everything was working out with that. We had to replace the uh, original style line cord that was on this telephone because the line cord that was on it was too brittle and it would have never worked out they would have only had problems with it down the road. So that was repaired or replaced. We also installed a modular port on the inside of the telephone inside the base so that if you ever need to replace the line cord, it can simply be brought through the hole and plugged in and you wouldn't have to splice or cut the line cord or anything. So that's all been taken care of. Now we're ready to do our final checks. Basically, this telephone is not going to ring without a bell box or a subset. I'll give you some dial tone. 
we want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch that red light, every time you see that red light, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six, hello, hello. So we know that this telephone has transmit and receive. We're going to go ahead and dial. So if you watch the analyzer, you'll see the numbers rack off. I'm going to end in a 2. I'm going to transmit one more time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hello, hello. We'll give you a dial tone one more time. And then we'll go ahead and switch over to a regular line. All I have to do on my switch box here is push this button that takes the analyzer totally out of the situation and gives us a line out. So we'll go ahead and call, give you some dial tone. I'll go ahead and call a time and temp number. Good evening. When you need body work, we're a short drive away. Offenberg Body Center 2340330. Today is Thursday, April 25th. The time is 10.46. Current temperature at 60 degrees. Now the Belleville area weather forecast. Partly cloudy tonight, lows in the 40s, mostly cloudy Friday, showers likely, highs around 60. Okay. We can call one other number. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. We'll call one other number. Thank you for calling Walmart. Okay. We don't need nothing from there right now, but the fact of the matter is, is this telephone has been repaired and it's dialing out, it has transmit, has receive, it has its uh, line cord, so now they can simply plug it into any jack that they need to plug it into, and they can start enjoying their telephone. A really cool 202 Western Electric, and it's a, a nice example of uh, a telephone that was in use every day, and it's just a great find. Uh, it's a keeper. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.